Well, audiophiles, music lovers, musicians, and collectors will unite at the Renaissance Schaumburg Hotel and Convention Center this weekend. And they're coming to experience a show featuring 300 exhibitors, 700 brands, and Jackie, we're hearing they're from 40 different countries as well, so talk about variety here. Uh, Brad and Audrina, yes, and I really have been learning so much this morning out here in Schaumburg because we've been meeting a lot of different folks who represent these different brands, like you said, from countries all over the world. The speakers that I just showed you a few minutes ago are actually made in Germany. I'm here with Angie now, who is with American Sound of Canada, so good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you so much for uh, <laughs> allowing us into one of these listening rooms, and so you got to tell us a little bit about the speakers that are behind us. They're such works of art and they sound so good. Thank you for n noticing that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really uh, happy with these speakers. These are our latest models. Uh, they are actually being debuted at the show. Wow. The Expona show, which is, I think, where a lot of new products uh, are debuted in North America. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, these amplifiers from Japan. They're also peeking their heads out as a debut product. Okay. And they are their top of the line. Uh, the speakers are quite unique in that we can operate them with amplifiers, as you see there, or with their internal amplifier called mm, iTron. Okay. So the only thing you see at home, if these were to be at home, uh, would be the speakers and your streamer. Mm -hmm. So it simplifies what all the audio gear that you've seen, you won't need because it's all self-contained. I was gonna say, so you can just be sitting on your couch, you can start an album from whichever streaming service you're potentially on, right. and boom, they come uh, beautifully out of the speakers. Let's go for a little walk and show off some of the sure. other uh, speakers in this collection. That pair of speakers cost about $100,000. Um, this model is a little bit smaller yep. and a little little bit less expensive, right? It's one less, uh, it's, it's, I'm sorry. No, you're it's, fine. It's uh, one model below the ones we just saw. Okay. And I think it's more real world for most people's living areas. Mm -hmm. Um, the nice thing about them too is you saw the bouquet of flowers mm. in the sense that you can get different colors yes. that are offered um, so you can match your decor. Yes. Um, if you want to go bold like the red on the mezzo or soften it down like this with the duo. Angie, we're going to land in yep. this room over here. We've got a couple other models and uh, real quick, I think what you mentioned for us, which I love, is when you talk about, I mean, everything sounds good coming out of speakers like this, but the thing that sounds the most impactful, the best, is live music, right? That's correct. And that's uh, something that I think uh, a lot of people have memories about, mm. what they, who they met, their significant other, uh, the buddies that they were with at a live performance. So when you're listening to a live performance through a speaker like this and recreating it at home, it creates an nice sensitive yeah. emotional kind of listening um, so we tend to attract people that are more passionate about audio yeah. with a speaker like this absolutely Angie thank you so much for your time this it's morning your expertise she's been in the business for about 47 years so uh, I imagine there's no one better to talk audio with than Angie herself so well, Brad and Audrina it's so <laughs> much fun it's so much fun and you know what if you've got speakers like this and listening to a recording of live music you don't have to mess with throwing elbows in a big crowd, so I, nothing better than that. Yeah, Back to you. Right. Are you throwing out I mean, yeah. Because he won't go there. Guys, are you throwing bows? I know. <laughs> throwing bows in the crowd? Well, no, I mean, it's just, you know, sometimes it's really crowded. I get it, but that sometimes doesn't it's really crowded, and you're like, you know, it's just really caught us off guard. Okay, all right. Thanks for Jackie, keeping us on our job. So keep that in mind next time. Jackie, Jackie throws bows. Throws Stay bow. away from her. All right.